So if you're as much of a nerd as I am, you might have thought about the Bennett sisters from Pride and Prejudice and what their lives would be like if they lived in the present day. What they would study in college, what their life choices would be like, what kind of careers they would pursue, and so on. Now, in the actual novel Pride and Prejudice, which I've got right here behind me on this shelf, the Bennett sisters and all women of the time, really, who were of a certain social class, did not really have career goals. They couldn't really have career goals. Their prospects in life consisted of find an eligible young man who has a good fortune, marry him, and he will provide for you. But today, that's not what most women do. So if they lived in the present, I think that they would go to college and I think that they would pursue a career. Now, just a quick disclaimer before we get started, I have watched The Lizzie Bennet Diaries, which is a fantastic YouTube series, and you should absolutely go watch it if you haven't yet. But for this video, I will not be using any of the ideas that were explored in The Lizzie Bennet Diaries because that's already been done, and I'm going to do my own thing. So without further ado, let's start with Jane. Jane is the eldest Bennet sister. She is sweet, kind, caring, soft-spoken, barely expresses her emotions. In the present day, I think that Jane's kindness and her ability to see the best in others and to work well with people would definitely impact her career choices and her interests. So I think that she would be drawn to fields that are very people-based and very based on helping people. Like, for instance, I could see her becoming a nurse. I could see her being an elementary school teacher. I think that Jane would do well in a variety of careers that deal with helping people and providing some kind of service to people. However, I think that she would want to avoid anything that was too confrontational. For example, she would not be good as a lawyer. She would not be good as the HR person that has to tell someone they're being fired. She would not do well in any kind of like aggressive sales or marketing type of role. Elizabeth, on the other hand, she is very opinionated and she does not back down from a fight. I could see her going to law school and becoming a lawyer. I think that she could also do really well in some kind of nonprofit role and doing something that she just is super passionate about that she thinks will have a positive impact on the world. What Elizabeth Bennett would not be happy doing in the present day would be anything that was very tedious, anything that was predictable or kind of the same from day to day, like accounting, for instance, entering data, pushing papers in an office, I think would really bore her. Anything where she felt like she was doing something that wasn't having a positive impact, I think would really turn her off very fast. Anything that would require her to be extremely kind or patient or not confrontational, I don't think she would do too well in customer service. The third Bennett sister is Mary Bennett. And Mary is kind of antisocial, kind of awkward, and isn't really interested in going to parties or interacting with people, but just prefers to read or play the piano or things like that. So I think in the present day, her interests and her life choices would revolve around isolating herself as much as possible and not having to deal with people at all. I think that probably in college she would study a STEM field, particularly a technology-related field like computer science, that would allow her to pursue a career that would be mostly technical and mostly not working with the public. What I can't see her doing is anything too social. I can't see her wanting to work in an office space with an open floor plan and lots of people. I can't see her wanting to work in like event planning or anything like that. I can't see her pursuing the more people-focused social science type fields like sociology or anthropology because her interest just isn't in dealing with people in any way. The fourth and fifth sisters I'm going to address together because Kitty, I think, has the least individual personality of the five sisters. She's basically very similar to Lydia, except slightly older and slightly less independent. Even though she is a little bit older than Lydia, she often follows Lydia's lead. 
Lydia is 15, she's extremely frivolous and does what she wants and does incredibly foolish things that threaten to bring shame on her entire family, but can you really blame her because she's 15 and she hasn't really been taught any better and so it's, it's not entirely her fault what happens. In any case, Lydia would not be in college yet because she's too young and Kitty, I believe, also would not be in college yet or would be possibly like a freshman. I don't remember exactly how old she was. But I think that Lydia would have her ways of getting into the college social scene, college parties, maybe through Kitty if Kitty is in college at that point, or just because she's Lydia and she finds a way when there's a social event she wants to go to. So I don't think that Lydia would have any idea yet of what she wants to do with her life. I don't think that she would have any serious interests that she wants to pursue once she goes to college. I think that maybe she would not even be sure if she's going to go to college, but she wouldn't be exploring any real alternatives like a community college or a trade school or some kind of training program. She would just be, you know, she wants to live her life in the moment. If she went to college, it would be to party and not so much to learn or prepare for life. And I think that Kitty, also would be doing some of the same things and would be imitating Lydia in that way. However, I think that eventually they would have to find their way. You know, everybody eventually has to make a choice about how they want to spend their life. And I think that something that would suit Lydia very well would be something like wedding planning or party planning or um, something that would allow her to kind of make use of those frivolous tendencies that get her into trouble when she's younger. I think that she would enjoy, you know, picking out exactly what flowers need to be arranged in exactly what way and who's going to be on the guest list and how the seating arrangement is going to be done and what the decorations are all going to look like and party favors and things like that. So I think that event planning, party planning, wedding planning, something along those lines would be great for Lydia to look into if she were a real person and were alive in the modern day. In any case, those are my thoughts on the Bennett sisters and what they would do in the present day for their college majors and their careers. If you liked this video and would like to see more like it, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I post once a week about reading, writing, literary concepts, and more.